We have seen different sides of Chef Ramsay in many shows, and 24 Hours to Hell and Back showed us how great and recognizable he looks in disguise. Now Chef Ramsay rocks at what he does best, but we can't deny that he's got some stellar acting skills. If Chef Ramsay ever chooses to change his career, we know for sure that he's going to do well as an actor. Now honestly, that will be something to look forward to, don't you think? Hello and welcome to our channel, Film Insight. Today's video will tell you about Gordon Ramsay's best disguise in 24 hours to hell and back. So sit back and relax as we go straight into the content. Check out 24 Hours to Hell and Back for those who need more proof. In this show, Chef Ramsay dons the hat of an undercover agent and exposes the food mafia. Wait up, what? We're kidding. Well, he does go undercover, but that is only to address issues and help restaurant owners out. Stay with us till the end, for one disguise is way funkier, weirder and bizarre than the other. Number 10. The Biker It smells like the carpet already. It is disgusting. In episode 7 of season 2, Chef Gordon Ramsay disguised himself as a biker and went vroom vroom to Boardwalk 11. Of course, the restaurant wasn't aware of who he was. Chef Ramsay, dressed in leather jackets and leather boots, pulled off a big moustache with a long dark wig with absolute ease. He sure did look like a rock star, but unfortunately he didn't ride a bike. How I wish he did! After extensive research and surveillance, Chef, uh, we mean Biker Ramsay and his crew uncovered a massive lack of commitment from the restaurant's employees and owner. This led to many people coming in for just karaoke rather than the actual dining experience. The most disgusting thing that Gordon Ramsay found out about the restaurant is how filthy the kitchen is. There was a scene where a chef was shaving off a moldy part. Oh, that's downright disgusting. Another awful thing Chef Ramsay found out about one of the male staff was that he made inappropriate comments to women and made them feel unsafe. This biker wasn't going down without a fight. Get your fired. Okay. Thankfully, he was fired from the job right on the spot. Number 9. Hippie Hank the only joke in here today is what I've just experienced. Reheated, frozen, disgusting food. Next up, Ramsay disguised himself as Hippie Hank in episode 8 of season 3. Changing himself with a prosthetic nose and bushy brown beard, Chef Cowboy Ramsay was ready to shoot down Bear's Den Pizza with his investigation. The first thing that shocked Chef Ramsay was that one of the owners was always drunk and violent. <laughs> Somebody needed him to calm the heck down, and that somebody was none other than Chef Ramsay. Just as the restaurant's first impression was disappointing, the food did no better to change that too. The dip that he got with his food was reheated in the microwave. How hard is it to heat over the gas properly? Well, it sure did look hard for them. When the footage was finally released, I tell you guys, it left everyone speechless. It showed black mold, rats, a broken freezer, moldy produce, dirty appliances, frozen food, and of course, the inappropriate owner. Wonder how the other owner coped with his stale partner for all these years? And guess what? A hundred bottles of alcohol were missing. Maybe we all know who was chugging down all those bottles. No prizes for guessing here. Number 8. Hockey Fan I'm told, the Goon Burger, you're the first one to order it. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Dressed as a chubby, cute hockey fan, Chef Ramsay went to score a goal in Shanty on 19 in Season 2. The restaurant was supposed to be an upscale bistro, but it looked more like a sports bar. After a thorough investigation, Chef Ramsay found out that the relationship between the owner and staff was not stable. They were constantly arguing like angry Simpsons. Imagine how the restaurant would do when the relationship between staff and owner is not good. Yeah, you guessed it right, it sucked. So did the food at least impress Chef Ramsay? The answer is a big fat no. Every dish that Chef Ramsay and his team ordered was burnt, cold or frozen. The kitchen was filthy with moldy food being stored, and the current owner was constantly chugging. No, not water, the guy was high on spirits. Even though the restaurant had an executive chef, the owner had limited her. 
Oh hell, it doesn't end here. When Chef Gordon dropped the footage, one of the staff was seen, um, it's disgusting to say, the staff was seen spitting on plated food. Good lord, save us from this menace. Number seven, police officer. <laughs> Chef Ramsey, dressed as a police officer, went on to arrest some of the food murderers in Trolley Stop Cafe. Now, don't get worried, I'm joking again. He went to investigate and bring changes, but he didn't do it alone this time. Chef Ramsey went to the restaurant with actual cops. Now, how cool and crazy is that? So, what did they discover out there? Let's start with the food. It was spoiled and disgusting. When the footage was unveiled, shocking revelations flowed one after another. First, the staff was unfriendly to each other, and then the kitchen was beyond repulsive. Ramsey found several containers open, creepy flies hovering over the food, and oodles of finished food sitting on dirty grills waiting for some salvation. OK, not sure about you, but my stomach is tied into a knot right now. What's surprising is not how every staff hated the owner, but how the owner was unfazed by it. The only thing that made him phased was the unhappy customers. Well, of course, Chef Ramsey tried to drill the basic sense into his rotting brains. If you want to run a successful business, make sure your staff are happy. Staff are essential, period. Number 6. Construction Worker Customer, I'll go in undercover to hopefully see the issues myself. Time to start building some of these from the ground up. In episode 8 of season 1, Chef Ramsey disguised himself as a construction worker, and trust me when I say this, he looked exactly like one. Man, this guy can pull off any look he wants. Just look how convincing he looks. With so many fantastic disguises we got to see of Chef Ramsey, this one took the cake too. If you are a fan of this show, then I'm sure you remember how awful the owners of Sandra D's barbecue and seafood were. Do you think they were more dreadful than Amy and Sam from Kitchen Nightmares? Anyway, this restaurant's business was booming in the beginning, but it soon hit the pit hole because of the owner's behavior. <sighs> Why does every restaurant have to start with a lousy owner? So upon tasting the food, Chef Ramsey understood it was not fresh. I think fast chains make better. When the footage was released, one of the owners even felt attacked. She went on to say it wasn't even her. Yeah, lady, like it was your twin sister. The restaurant was closed in 2019 because they wanted to focus on catering. Well, number five, Grandpa Ramsey. You've never made a fresh tomato ever. Did you taste that molly sauce? Yes, I don't have a problem with it. With this one, Chef Ramsey might have shown us how he would look in his old days. Dressed as a grandpa, Chef Ramsey was ready to discover all the problems of Los Toros Mexican restaurant in season two. However, he could not fool them this time as the owner's son found who he was. Oops. When the footage was released, the owner's son didn't take it well and defended everything shown. On his part, Ramsey did not keep his identity hidden for long and unmasked his son. He even argued with Chef Ramsey. Want to know what was shown in the footage? I hope you're not eating anything right now because this might churn things up. It showed unsafe food temperatures, spoiled and rotten food, a moldy store, and a disgusting and sickening uncleaned kitchen. There were so many things wrong with this place that made me wonder how was the restaurant open in the world? The footage also showed the owner's daughter talking about an incident where nine people suffered from food poisoning, and the whole episode had led to a health inspection. And guess what? The owner's son dared to deny that too. Boy, what a nutcase. He doesn't seem to know Chef Ramsey and his antics. Number four, Cowboy Grandpa. I'm going to take it from here. Chef Ramsey went full howdy in the first episode of season three with his grandpa cowboy look. Transformed into an old bearded man in a wheelchair, Chef Ramsey surprised everyone at Lowry's Seafood Restaurant. Due to the rift between the siblings, the restaurant went downhill. The only reason it was able to hold on was two senior staff. Specializing in seafood, the restaurant didn't smell all that fresh. The crab cake that Chef Ramsey ordered was spoiled and full of shells. Imagine having a crunchy crab cake. Ugh, never mind. So the moment of truth finally surfaced when the footage was released. The food was low quality, and guess what? It was expired. One of the staff confessed to a salmonella outbreak too. Well, there is no doubt that that would happen. Guys, I would have to quarantine just by looking at this. It also came to light that the kitchen had never been cleaned. 
Not even once. It looks like I need a bucket right now. Phew, that was quite an ordeal to go through. But hey, if you thought these were the best disguises of Gordon Ramsay, then wait till you see what we've got in the top three. Number three, Historian Ramsay. German potato salad. It's ice cold, yeah. <laughs> My God. Ladies, the food wasn't a highlight. If someone could go back to the Victorian era, Chef Ramsay would be it. Dressed up as an old historian, it got me thinking of Dumbledore. Jokes apart, in this episode, Chef Ramsay made us know again how big his heart is. He and his team took on the most significant makeover challenge. Ellicott City spent more than a year rebuilding after the devastating floods in 2016, and another storm had ravaged the area in 2018. With the rebuilding task of the town, he and his team also took up a mission to help save three restaurants – Phoenix Emporium, Little Market Cafe and Jackson Edwin. Ramsay and his team spent a lot of effort in historic Ellicott City to move and improve the Little Market Cafe, Jackson Edwin, a barbershop, coffee bar, gaming area, and Phoenix Upper Main, merging the Phoenix Emporium and Ellicott Mills Brewing Company. Though unhappy with the eatery's way of handling food and quality, Chef Ramsay walked out happy with an accomplished mission. Number 2. Mrs. Doubtfire From our Jean, ready for lunch. Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to Southern. Who doesn't remember this fantastic movie, Mrs. Doubtfire, right? We sure do miss Robin Williams. The legend knew how to bring smiles to our faces. If there is a Mrs. Doubtfire 2, the producer can cast Chef Ramsay for the role. He did amazing on the show. During episode 5 of season 2, Chef Ramsay went for a luncheon with a few elderly ladies at Stone's Throw. Let me tell you, the restaurant was worth throwing some stones at because the food was disgusting. The fine dining restaurant had nothing acceptable about them. There were plastics found in food, staff not caring about anything, improper storage of poultry, burning of food and repulsive mouldy food. The owner's wife was deluded as she was not ready to accept that the restaurant was failing. But we all know how Chef Ramsay can shake them off. He, after all, takes no shit from anyone. So, with a bibbidi babbidi boo Chef Ramsay reformed the whole restaurant. But sadly, in 2019, the shutters of the restaurant were pulled down for good. Number 1. Blondie Ramsay Libby Lou, ready for a ladies' lunch? Trust me, this one's going to be a page-turner. Till now, Chef Ramsay has shown us how good he can be in different disguises. But with this look, he left us surprised. Chef Ramsay made us go, who is this sexy blonde lady? In episode 6 of season 3, elegantly walking into the southern kitchen and eating like a lady, Chef Ramsay sure fooled everyone. The restaurant was in a different location, but it was moved as they failed in the last place. But did the change in the area help them? Nope, not in the slightest way. The restaurant, also a women's book club, was full of screeching, noisy background music. Not like the food was any better, it would make you want to scream too. The chaotic restaurant's owner lacked communication and, as usual, couldn't even handle the truth. The owner's wife was in denial. She bluntly blamed the staff for being lazy. After loads of drama and bickering, the restaurant finally accepted the changes and renovation. Currently, the restaurant is thriving and has quite a few positive reviews. With that, we come to the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Which of Chef Ramsay's disguises did you like the most? Let us know in the comments section. Drop us a like and give it a share if you've enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our content. We'll be back soon. Take care, guys.